call for local government autonomy has been a prominent topic in Nigerian political discourse for several decades, with many attributing the inefficiency of local governments to their limited financial independence. In response to this issue, the federal government, in an unprecedented move, took legal action against the 36 state governments in the country. It accused state governors of gross misconduct and abuse of power in its suits, which was based on 27 grounds. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi San, filed a lawsuit advocating for complete autonomy and direct allocation of funds to the 774 local governments in Nigeria. Here's how the Supreme Court ruled. On Thursday 11th July 2024, that all federal funds for local government councils should be paid directly into their accounts. Justice Emmanuel Aguim, who led a seven-member panel of justices, delivered the judgment in a suit filed by the federal government against the 36 state governors. According to the judgment, payments of local government area allocations will no longer be made to state government accounts. The court also prohibited the governors from receiving, tampering with, or withholding funds meant for local governments. The court barred state governors from dissolving democratically elected officials for local governments and deemed such actions a breach of the 1999 constitution. The court barred governors from constituting caretaker committees to run the affairs of local governments, contrary to their constitutionally recognized and guaranteed democratic system. As expected, many Nigerians have been reacting positively to this news since the Supreme Court made the announcement. Former Kaduna lawmaker Senator Sheh Hussani has said the Supreme Court has freed the local governments from over two decades of captivity and systemic plunder by the states.